What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, I wanna to touch on something that I did in a previous video that I kind of just glanced over and I wanna revisit um, to make it a little bit more clear. So I'm just gonna to go to my downloads. Um, there's nothing there, I delete everything from last time. Um, but what I'm gonna talk about is the dot. So you saw me do a command. I'm just gonna make a few folders, A, B, C, D. You saw me do um, move um, something in A to uh, the current directory. And I just wanna explain what was happening there. Um, so I wanna create a file in A called um, some, some file. Um, clear. So we have A, B, C, um, and if we do an LS on A, we have A, someone, so someone is in A. And if I wanna move someone to the downloads folder, so just to be clear, I wanna open up Finder and kind of sh show you guys how this is working. Go on Finder, oh, there we go. Um, so in downloads, we have a folder called A, and inside A we have some file. And I wanna move some file up to this directory right here. So there's a couple ways that I can go about doing that. So move, um, first I, I am currently in downloads. I could go into A, and now I'm currently in A. I could move some file up uh, a directory. And that's what dot dot means. Um, so it would go above A and go into downloads. So if I do an ls above me, and move some file up there. Now I'm just gonna move some file back to A. Um, and it's back. Now the other way is from doing it from downloads is I can move a dot some file um, into the current directory. And you specify that by using the dot. So I'm moving a dot some file. Where am I moving it? To the directory directory I'm currently in, or the folder I'm currently in, which is this one right here that you see on your prompt. So that moves it, and if we run it, sure enough, we see some file. So it's pretty simple, but I just want to go over that and make sure it was clear. Um, another thing that can sometimes be helpful is to know like the path that, like to the current directory you're in. So if you do pw pwd, that shows you the path. So I'm currently in slash users slash binawad slash downloads. If I go into b and do pwd, you notice it's the same thing as above, except I'm now in the b folder. Um, so that can be helpful sometimes to uh, see where you are relative to other things. Um, there's one other command I want to cover real quick, and that is the bang sign. This will let you uh, basically do commands that you've done before. So what does that mean? So for example, let's say I touch. Um, no, let's not touch. Let's, what's a good one for this? Let's go back out. Let's say I want to... Yeah, let's cd into A. Um, no, that won't work. What what the bang sign does is it will do the same command that you've done before, um, typing in that same command. So for example, if I did cat, um, cat's a bad one. If I did ls, we'll do ls. If I did ls on C, there's nothing there. If I did bang sign ls, it would run the previous command, the ls on c. And notice it doesn't print anything, it just tells me what command it ran. Um, if I did an ls just here, I would see abc some file. And if I did bang sign ls, it would then run ls um, doing the same output because it's running the same command. But notice I could, for example, move up a directory. Um, if I wanted to, go to Benawad, and I can do the bang time ls, and it still runs the same ls, you know, command, we're just in a different directory so it does something else. So it just runs the, the command that you ran before. Um, so let's go back to downloads, and this can be done for anything. So for example, I can do the cd that I just did. Um, but of course I'm not currently in a download, so it won't go anywhere. better example is like, for example, if I want to cd into a desktop. I'm now on desktop. Let's say I want to go. Um, yeah, let's. Um, I could do CD and we stay in desktop, and we basically run the same command, which does nothing. 
but uh, this this is not exactly uh, these these commands aren't exactly where this is super helpful. For example, let's say you do write a longer command. Maybe I'm removing um, A, B, C, D in this one folder, and then I want to remove these um, in another folder. So I do a bang sign rm and it runs it again but basically it's good to know this will come up this is kind of a niche um, uh, command that is very helpful sometimes but um, you don't use it all the time it's the repeat commands and unfortunately um, it does not actually let you expand and know the command that you're gonna run that would be nice but non bash and other shells which I'll talk about later you can so bang sign lets you uh, do a command you did before. Um, PWD prints your uh, path. And then dot, as I said, uh, is your current directory. So CD dot does nothing. Um, but that's good for moving things around and that sort of thing, copying. So I hope that was helpful and those commands make sense.